What is going on guys, DBG here, and because the certain teams in previous 2K series is actually doing really, really well, I'm going to keep it up, I'm going to try to get maybe, I don't know, I might be able to get a couple of these out before NBA 2K18, who knows, it could be up around 10, it could be a lot less, I'll just see how they're all received. Anyway, if this video could hit 500 likes, that would be insane, I asked for 500 on the Chris Smooth one, and it's nearly at 1000 likes, so, actually no, I'm going to try beat that, if we can beat the Chris Move likes that would be insane so i'm gonna set the like goal at 750 but let's try to get a thousand let's be really optimistic and get a thousand because we haven't hit it on the first day ever in a video and we want to overtake the last one of these challenges we did so anyway now we are on to a squad of players that were bronze in nba 2k 14. at the point guard we have got dennis schroeder Schroeder was an unknown prospect coming into the NBA, a German point guard, 6'1", and honestly didn't do too much in his rookie season. He was um, the backup point guard of Jeff Teague, and as soon as he got the starting role, he showed how good he is. In the two, we got Tim Hardaway Jr., who was a low first round pick, so he was going to be a bronze, but was actually really good in game, especially on last gen on the PS3. At the three, we've got Kyle Korver. Korver was actually a bronze in NBA 2K13 and NBA 2K14. It wasn't until 2K15 where he became a silver card, and that was the year he was an all-star for the Atlanta Hawks. At the four, we've got Giannis Antetokounmpo. Giannis was not just a bronze. Giannis was the lowest rated player in NBA 2K14. Giannis was a 60 overall, and Sergei Karasev was a 62. Giannis was the single lowest rated player in the game. Who would have known that, obviously Giannis actually became really good, I remember using him most of my GMs, but who would have thought that Giannis Antetokounmpo was going to be this good? He was like 6 foot 8 at the time, was really skinny, and was just seen as a project, but now could be seen as legitimately a future MVP to be honest. Next up we've got Steven Adams, before the beard, before the long hair, Steven Adams. Not a lot of people knew too much what he was going to do or how he was going to be, but he did come from the James Harden trade. He was actually a good pickup to be honest with the Oklahoma City Thunder. But anyway, Steven Adams was a really low rated card in that game. Off the bench we've got Will Barton at the 1. There's not many great point guards that were bronzes, so I'm going to have to put Will Barton in. Will Barton is a silver in this year's game, was a bronze 2 at 14. We've also got Gerald Green. I think the year before he was with the Indiana Pacers when they were really good and made the Eastern Conference Finals. And I think it was either this year or the next year that he just went off for the Phoenix Suns, averaging like 17 points per game after not playing the year before. At the three, we've got James Jones. Has been a bronze pretty much every year in NBA 2K. Was actually very good the very first year of the Miami Heat Big 3. Was really good that year and was a great role player for them. But honestly, isn't a spectacular player, but is solid like... There's a reason LeBron likes having him on his team. At the four, you got Kelly Olynyk, who was drafted, I think, with the 13th pick, as far as I remember, in the 2013 draft. Kelly Olynyk was a bronze as well for the Celtics. And Enos Kanter was a bronze. Kanter was a bronze until NBA 2K15. I did not realize that. I knew he wasn't great his first couple of years, but I didn't realize he was going to be a bronze. Last three, you've got Terrence Ross, who was downgraded from a silver after having a solid rookie year. He had a solid, very solid rookie year for Toronto Raptors and was downgraded. I never understood that. We've also got Birdman, who, I'm surprised, who I was surprised was a silver and a bronze in 2K14, sorry, because he did great in the playoffs for Miami Heat the year before. And last up, we've actually got a historic player. We have got Hubert Davis in the team, who was a bronze player for the New York Knicks 94-95 historic team. So anyway, that is the team. These guys were all bronzes in NBA 2K14. So anyway, now let's get into the game. Okay, so we're playing a team far better than us. That Ralph Sampson's the beast. Harden's great, Paul George. So this is going to be a really, really tough game. And like, Durant's going to be able to guard Giannis a power forward. Kyle Korver on the wing. Korver puts it up. And Korver puts it in. Tie game. Okay, the left shoulder wide open. Why did I take that shot? Moving on, he still nailed it. Let's go. Hey, that's two three-pointers. We need to just start getting some stops on defense. That would be really helpful. And especially we didn't give another round one up. Oh my god, like... Alright, it's still early days though. The first quarter, unless you're down like 10 points, doesn't really matter. Oh, we got our ankles broken. Get up! Get up! Get up, Schroeder! What? 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 Schroeder had landed. The shot had gone up. What was he doing? Fouling him. That late. Oh, I just... I don't even know anymore of this game, to be honest. I actually don't even know anymore. 
What's he? Why won't he dribble the ball? Go, Giannis. Draw the foul. Like, why is he drawing a foul every single time? And that's not called. Like, I know it would have bailed me out, but he's been bailed out every time he's gone to the basket. Stand. Stand, Cantor. Oh, my God. He just did a post move through Enos Cantor to get open. I actually can't wait for 2K18 because, like, to make this game E-League ready, it needs to go through, like, an entire overhaul. And if 2K have done that, it, it's going to be a great, great game. Because the last time 2K did that was between 2K10 and 2K11. That was brilliant. But I just can't see them doing it. I think they're just going to release a broken game for E-League. Defense. Oh, my God. I'm go I was almost about to complain about Cantor not playing defense in 2K. But Cantor doesn't play defense in real life. That's one thing 2K did well. Cantor doesn't play defense in 2K or in real life. In the corner, put it up. Full white bar, and Cantor hits the three. Take him up. And, oh my god, Olenek. Come on. It's good defense. It's a better finish. Come on, we gotta get this lead. Got four seconds to go. Ball in James Jones' hands. Into a bad pass. Damn. Okay, so we're down two at the end of the first. Oh my god, that does not count, does it? Okay, doesn't, thank god. Okay, so we're down two at the end of the first quarter. We didn't have a great first quarter. And we're just doing stupid things. So now let's go and win this game. Oh, this isn't like the Steven Adams from 2K16, the gold one, where they gave him like a 90-something free throw. 74 is not too bad anyway. We just need to start getting some more stops. And getting back in defense would help with that Steven Adams. With defense. Oh, he's just 7-4. We can't stop that. Jamming on him. It's... Oh! Antenna combo. Now let's go and get a stop right here. Okay, it's open. It's open, Kyle Corver. Oh, come on. Come on, Yanis. There we go. Alright, so a three point game. Let's just not let him get a lead. Um, let's leave Kevin McHale, I guess. And we just left Gail Goodrich, which was not a good idea. Okay, we're going to have to get out of the zone. Zones are good in spells, like, if you play zone for a couple of minutes a game, you're good, but if you play zone for a full game, it's not going to work. Make the layup, please. Make the layup! He's six foot one! Oh my god, this has just been an absolute disaster, squatter. Please make this pass work. Let's go! You gotta be joking. You have got to be joking. I'm so done. I am so done with 2K. Pull up, James Jones. Oh, come on! <laughs> oh, we just need something to go our way. 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 Oh my god, we blocked it right into his player's hands. It's good, isn't it? Yep. Like, to be fair, I'm 14 points down. So, I can't really make excuses. I'm being blown out. But, um... Oh my god, just do something, Will Barton, please. That was stupid by me. Um, I'm being absolutely blown out in this game. A nice post move right made right through Enos Cantor. Some great game mechanics. The players are literally holograms. But anyway, like I'm down 16. There's no excuses for this. I wonder who he's going to knock guard. Okay, he's actually playing good. Def he's playing good on ball defense in the post. Okay, I think if you run a straight line for long enough, eventually you're gonna get close to the basket or to the basket, which is what I'm doing right now. I just pretty much ran a straight line there with Gerald Green, eventually got past Gail Goodrich. Double it, double it, double it, double it, double it, double it. Great defense, Olinik. Let's go. Like we have him where our defense is picked up, but our offense has just been as bad, if not worse, than ever before. Hubert Davis, please. This is one of the biggest shots of the game, and he hits it. Okay, six point game.
Double, double, double. Oh, we nearly are. We're nearly there. Let's get the Durant. We're right on him. No! 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 Just flawed 2K mechanics. You run near someone as they're shooting the balls, and I'm one. Oh my god. Oh, corner. Corner. We got him. We got him. We got him. And that is the game. Ah. Unless there's some, by some miracle, Kyle Corver decides to step outside the three point line. But, um, nah, this one's, this is over. Well and truly over. Good steal. Let's go, Terrence Ross. Can we make the ultimate comeback? Pull up. Short. Damn. And that is the game. We lose that by six points. Unless this goes in, which it doesn't. We lose that by six in the end. A good effort, to be fair, but. Ah, uh, the better player won. The better team won, he was better in the game, and I'm going to take my hat off. I felt like there was a few times I got screwed, but he should have probably won that game. If in a vacuum where everything's fair, he still probably would have won that game. So anyway, let's look at the box score. For our team, Giannis had 14. Giannis actually did quite well, to be honest. Kelly Olinick did really well, 10 points. Steven Adams had 9. Oh, geez, Olinick and Adams in the exact same pose. And Kyle Corver had 8, 2 of 3 and a massive 3 pointer. Hubert Davis actually had 7 in 6 minutes play. Tim Hardaway Jr., geez, I thought he did better than that. He went 2 of 5 from 3. I thought he did much better. Cantor didn't do great and played 0 defense. My, like, my team only got one block and it was from Kelly Olinick. Um, James Jones was terrible. Normally, Jones is good. He was just so bad in this game. And um, Will Barton got the ball stripped off him. Almost every offense. He didn't turn it all, always turn it over, but he was stopped dribbling in every offense. Like, what's his ball control? 79. I really shouldn't have been playing a point guard, to be fair. And Terrence Ross played one minute in that game. So for him, his Chauncey Billups actually went 5 of 6, Ralph Samson 5 of 7, 3 of 3 from 3 of Paul George, 2 of 3 with KD. And he was just more efficient, and that's the reason why he won that game. We still brought it back to six points, which isn't the worst, to be honest. So anyway, that's the video. These are player that were players that were bronzes in NBA 2K14. And as always, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.